Well, I think farmers have really moved on in the last year. Um, we've had the feed-in tariff coming in and there's interest right across the board now in all different scales of renewable options. So farmers are, have been thinking about projects for quite a while and now they're at the stage of trying to, more of them taking them forward and actually trying to get them through planning. So we, we're seeing more and more farmers actually making the next step, getting into planning, actually getting projects um, on the ground. They've nearly all done a bit of research and they come along and they maybe want to talk about a wind turbine or they want to talk about a biomass heating system. But when we actually get into the broader discussion, they're either there are other possibilities for them that they hadn't conceived of, or there's the scope to join technologies together, something that's producing electricity and something that's producing heat but needs an electric, a power source of some sort. Well, we've had uh, wind developers out there still looking for sites uh, for, for new, new turbines. Um, we've also had anaerobic digestion has come up as an issue. Um, question of how to get finance for that. I heard the German banks uh, are looking very positively at, at uh, uh, finance for anaerobic, di anaerobic digestion. We're seeing a big increase in the farmers' capability to explore renewable energy investment on their land. It's part and parcel of community investment, small-scale wind energy development primarily. Very well fits the new Scottish Government land use strategy published uh, just this spring. And so aspects of exploiting land, community consultation and investment in small-scale renewables and it looks as though that's delivering part of the objectives of both public and private sector. And what we're finding is that people have talked to us, they're going to go away and think about it and then they're probably going to come back to us once they've done a bit more research so that we can advise them on what the best combination or what individual technology is really going to work for them.